Why did German naval mines in English Channel fail to destroy the Royal Navy, cripple the British economy and cut off U.S. aid to the U.K.? 1. David Chapman answers. Quite simple really, mines in the English Channel were in the wrong place to destroy the RN, and in particular were nowhere near any incoming convoys from the U.S. Take a look at this map. The home fleet, the majority of the Royal Navy's capital ships, was based up in Scopiflow in the Orkney Islands, far to the north of Scotland. Other major naval bases of the period were Rosyth, on the east coast of Scotland. Portsmouth, which due to its location and relative closeness to the channel, was avoided by major surface units and incoming convoys as much as possible. And Plymouth, slightly better than Portsmouth as it had freer access from the open Atlantic, but still a little too close to the French coast for comfort. Most of the Royal Navy worked from either Rosyth or Scapa Flow for the majority of the war. In terms of convoys, the vast majority were routed to come in to either Glasgow or Liverpool, very few got anywhere near the English Channel. Whilst there were a few attempts by German ships and submarines to lay mines in the areas around these ports, the majority of the larger German minefields in the English Channel between France and England were there to prevent invasion or defend the French coastal ports being used by German U-boats and U-boats. 2. Kevin Oliver, Answers The German mines were not as good as they thought they were. The Royal Navy was able to develop effective countermeasures, such as degasing ships so they less likely to detonate magnetic mines. They also developed techniques sweeping for magnetic and acoustic mines, which the Germans thought was impossible. The German minefields were sown mainly for defending their own coastal traffic, rather than blocking British traffic. The main ports for Atlantic shipping were on the west coast, not in the English Channel. 3. John Kelly, Answers This is really a silly question, if one it gives it some thought. One just doesn't use the channel, which was what Britain did. You bring your convoys in through the Irish Sea to Liverpool, Bristol, etc. The British mine the channel, you know. Do a web search for the channel dash. The three German capital ships involved were all damaged by mines. This event is described in Churchill's History of the Second World War, in Volume 4, The Hinge of Fate, in the chapter entitled The U-Boat Paradise, and in the war memoir of Adolf Gallant, the commander of the Luftwaffe Fighter Command, the first and the last.